welcome students and YouTubers. I made this video to explain the design principles and visual element assignment. A few students had questions on how to get started even though I've made uh, Google Hyperdocs and uh, written instructions. So I thought I'd make a visual aid because I know some people are visual learners, which sometimes that's me. So anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna introduce this project. Uh, the project is not finished but it is uh, meaning as and I didn't finish coloring in everything and making it high quality. I just wanted you guys to see where things are located um, and how I want the overall look to be. You guys are teachers. Uh, each class uh, lesson is about a specific element and they watch a video and then they have to make their own version of it. So uh, one last thing, just to remind you guys to tell students all the time, think of this as a visual dictionary. So when you look at it, you should be able to say, oh, I understand what line is, or I understand there's two, three different types of balance, or there's geometric and organic shape. It's supposed to be something that you can reference in the future. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See ya. All right, greetings, students and YouTubers. This is a quick overview that I threw together. So this is unfinished, and this is for the elements and principles of design. So that'd be the elements of art, for my sixth grade class and principles of design for my seventh grade. All right, so we took a piece of paper or a sketchbook and divided it into four quadrants. Uh, you could do uh, triangles instead with a big X, or you could do uh, what I'm doing here. The top right corner, we have elements of art. Just make the title and design it, make it look neat, fully colored, and uh, show your artistic creativity. The bottom one, we have texture. As you can see in the bottom left, I cut out a uh, smaller version and pasted it there and started extrapolating it. It's supposed to be the whole image and this should give you the sense of texture like if I was going to touch that it would be bumpy. The form is on the left, bottom left corner there. And as you can see we have light coming from the top right corner and then we have a shadow on the ball cast on the table and there's a wall. Remember that it's unfinished. Check out my YouTube video on how to draw a form to figure out how to do that. In space in the top left corner is, um, right there we have objects close and large, overlapped, and we have far small objects farther away. So there is a sense of space created two different ways. And third, uh, color, the lighter something is, the farther away it is, the brighter or closer it is. All right, so on the other side of the sketchbook, This is the other side of the sketchbook. Uh, this is probably the side we'll start first. Um, so we have line in the top right corner. That is a drawing I did many, many years ago. I just shrunk it down and photocopied it off because I wanted to have some sort of line art there. Your work does not have to be this uh, dramatic, but it is line art. Notice there's really not any shading, it's just line. Um, the bottom right hand corner is organic in geometric shapes. The top half is an example of organic and geometric labels you could either do that or you could make an image using shapes and i made a quick little doodle of a shape guy uh, whatever you want on the left here on the bottom left corner there is a seven step value range in the shape of a little triangle on the top left of that and uh, we could either do that which is what students usually do or you could draw an image like i've done using and uh, creating a value range. So there is my little interesting drawing of really tiny people. Um, anywho, so that's it. Or uh, in our next one is color, which is on the top left. I labeled that, or I took a drawing I've done a long time ago and put that there. So there's my dragon, lots of bright colors. Or you could just do a bunch of random colors like a rainbow or squiggly shapes that would work just fine. And if you've noticed, each one is also written, color, uh, shape, line, and they're all large, not quickly thrown together, but like block letters, not this simple written out stuff that, um, you know, it's, it's taking a little bit of time. Don't forget to check out my uh, rubric to see how I'm gonna be grading. Thanks. Please like, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions. Uh,